Hi everyone, it's JJ and I've got Ella here with me today and we are going to look at the skeleton! Wow! So, Ella, we're going to look at all of the bones of the human body today. Yeah, so maybe you'll be able to learn something about how humans work. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to start from the top and we're going to work our way down. So, most importantly, and it's where all of our thinking happens, is inside the skull. Yeah. And this, uh -huh. head. our head, that's right. Now this is known the proper name for it, Ella, is the cranium. Yeah, so this all here is your cranium. So everyone, what we're going to look at next is called the vertebral column. Now this is the bit that runs all the way down our back, all across the middle of our body. Wow. Yeah, I know. And it, basically helps keep us together. Right, let's put that on there. So that's this bit down the middle here. Now that's made up of a few different parts, Ella. Yeah, the first of which is called the cervical vertebrae. Now this sits just under the cranium like this. So this one is attached to our heads. Yeah. Next on the list, a little bit below that, is the thoracic vertebrae. This sits just below the cervical vertebrae. Just there. And this is in the middle of our chest. Yeah, about halfway down. Yeah. So let's put that where that needs to go. Just there. Yeah. Now, just below that is another piece of the vertebral column. Now, this part here is known as the lumbar vertebrae. Yeah. Now, I'm going to put that where that needs to go because it's pointing to this part just here. Now, at the bottom of the lumbar vertebrae, Ella, see this little part just here? Yeah, that is called the coccyx. Now, the bit that's quite interesting about the coccyx is that this is known as our tailbone. Wow. Yeah, now I don't have a tail, Ella. Do you have a tail? Uh -huh. No, that's right. But millions and millions of years ago, when we evolved from apes, they did have tails. And this is just what was left over what? Yeah, from when we had tails. Pretty crazy, right? Crazy! Yeah! So, the next part of our skeleton puzzle is the pelvis. Now this is what is around our tummies and by our legs. Sort of this bit, just here. Yeah. And that is known as the pelvis. Yeah. Now, Moving back up the body a little bit, we have a very important set of bones next. Ribs. That's right, Ella, ribs. Now, do you know what the ribs protect? No? Okay, so the ribs, they help to protect lots of our internal organs. Wow. Yeah, so our ribs are there to protect our heart, our lungs, wow. our stomach. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? That's why we have ribs. They're there to protect us. Now, the bit that runs down the middle of the ribs, just here, and if you put your fingers on your chest and rub up and down, you can probably feel quite a hard bone there. That is called the sternum. Yeah, and this is essentially what the ribs come out of. Yeah, it's like a big centerpiece. Crazy, huh? Yeah. So, next on our list, 
We're going to work our way a little bit above the ribs. And we're going to work our way to the shoulder blades. Now they sit just there, like that. Now you can feel your shoulder blades. And you can also feel just inside, beneath your neck, you might be able to feel two bones poking out just there. Now that is called your clavicle. That's what these slightly darker stripes are. Here, here, the clavicle. And then your actual shoulder blades is more commonly known as the scapula. Do you have shoulder blades, Emma? Oh, you do. You have little scapulas as well. Yeah, very cool. So, after that, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at our little arms. Yeah, we're going to look at our arms. So, the main, the top part of our arms is known as the humerus. Now, that sounds a little bit like humour, doesn't it? And humour, <laughs> that's right, humour is things that make us laugh. Now, that's where the term funny bone comes from. Oh. Yeah, so if you've ever heard anyone say, ouch, I hit my funny bone, that's because it's known as the humorous. And that's how the term funny bone came about. Yeah. So that's the main arm that runs from our shoulder right down to our elbows, yeah. And then from our elbows down to our wrists, we have two separate bones, yeah. So the first ones are known as the ulna, U-L-N-A, quite a peculiar word. That's known as the ulna. Needs to be. That's right. And they're the ones that are on the inside. So if you held your arms down like that, they're the ones that are closest to your ribs. Yeah. The ulna. So after the ulna, which is the arm bone on the inside, closest to our ribs, when you hold your arms out like that, the ones on the outside are called the radius. Yeah. And they're the arms, the arm bones even, that are on the outside. Just like that. Yeah. So one big bone from shoulder to elbow, and two small bones from elbow to wrist. Yeah. And what do we have at the bottom of all those arm bones? Hands. That's right, Ella. Yeah, we have our hand bones. That's right. And let's pop that. There. Wow. Just the legs to go. Yeah. So, the big leg bones that run from the bottom of your tummy down to your knees are called a femur. Yeah. Now, these are very big and strong bones. Yeah. And they have to be so that we can walk around. Isn't that right? Yeah. Now, the next bit is the leg bones that run from our knees down to our ankles. Now these are made up of a couple of different parts. First we have the bit that joins the upper and lower leg bones together and this is called the patella. What? What, what is it Ella? Oh, you're right, I did. Well, kind of. So the patella does have the word Ella in it, doesn't it? <laughs> but it has a few extra letters at the beginning. So the patella is this bit here that looks a little bit like a bean. Wow. And this holds your top and bottom leg bones together. It's known as your kneecap. Wow. Yeah. And the actual bone itself that runs from knee down to ankle is called the tibia. Yeah, learning a lot of scientific names for things today and I hope you're learning at home. So, just like with the arms, 
From the knee to the ankle, there are actually two leg bones. So this set of smaller bones that runs on the outside. So if you're standing still and standing face forward, it's the leg bones pointing outwards. And these bones are known as the fibula. Yeah. Which leads us to our final set of bones. Now, Ella, what bones are left? Yes, that's right. Our foot or feet bones. Yeah. Now, there are lots of more smaller bones in our feet and in our hands that we could perhaps do another time. But there we have the human skeleton. Did you learn something today, Ella? Yeah. Yeah. Did you learn that there is a bone that's got the word Ella in it? Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Now, I hope you had fun learning with us major bones of our skeleton. Yeah, join us again for some more videos where we do lots and lots more learning together. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon. See you.